I want to take a little time to say something about my brother Marvin X. Because I love this brother. He has enriched my life. He has empowered my sense of what it is to be a human being and what it is to be a freedom fighter. He's a love warrior, not just a polished professional. Sacrifice. Up, down, still consistent. And when he called me to be here, and it was months ago now. Yes, sir. And he'd been working on it. And, he, and I hear from him every night. <laughs> every night. But that's the kind of dedication. That's the kind of devotion. That's the kind of commitment. That's the kind of conviction he has. He has a love for those Sly Stone called everyday people. I speak to you in the name of love. In the name of love, we come, we go. Peace in the name of love. In the name of love, we exist forever. We are the thrashing floor, the opening door. In the name of love. Life is for love. Give love, receive love, submit to love. Do not deny love. Suffer only a little while for love. Let not love live. Long suffering is not love. Peace is love. A face of joy is love. Tell me of love, you who have loved longer than I. In the fire of love. My relationship with my dear brother, ancestor, Amiri Baraka, also known as Leroy Jones. We enjoyed a 47 year relationship, friendship, comradeship with my mentor and my associate and we were a part of the nucleus of the movers and shakers of the black arts movement, the most radical artistic and literary movement in American history. Of course, Baraka began his uh, black arts repertory theater in Harlem almost immediately after the assassination of Malcolm X in 1965 when he fled the village and came to Harlem, more or less in trauma and shock at the assassination of Malcolm X. But let's get back to normal. Let the Jews continue killing Arabs. Let them fight over Palestine forever and ever. Let them kill in Jerusalem, Janine, Gaza. Who cares? As long as oil flows and gas pours into our SUVs. As long as we consume most of the world's energy because we're greedy and love it to death. So what if most of the world has no electricity, no running water, no bathroom, eats very little, no three meals a day, no Burger King, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried, hormone grown beef and chicken, making our girls have a period at 10? for good measure, but let's get back to normal, when we can drink our neo-dope caffeine coffee and pretend it's not dope.